Let's take a look at anonymous classes. All right, we found some back in the ones more. And in this tutorial, we're we'll going to be talking about anonymous classes and basically what they can be used for, why they are important and why they might be very interesting indeed. So we've seen previously the animal class over here, which for us was an abstract class. Now, we've also found out that if I were to you know, make a new animal over here. Let's say this is Joel over here in this case, right? And this is a new animal. Well, that does not work, right? Even if I put in like joel.jpg over here, and this is going to be named Joel, and let's say two years old, what you'll find is that that does not work because animal is abstract and it cannot be instantiated. So I have to basically use the dog class, the cat class, or the bird class. However, let's say, no, 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 wait a second. Joel is my hamster, but I'm also a little bit lazy and I don't want to make an extra class for this. You know, I don't want to clutter up my package structure. I'm only going to use this hamster once. I'm never going to get a hamster again. Might be a little bit weird, but you know, whatever it might be, let's say I actually don't want to do that. Well, then I can make a custom class. I can derive from the animal class in line. So after the closing parentheses right here, I can put in an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket now, this one actually does end with a semicolon right here. I can hover over this and I can implement the method. You can see the move method because, of course, that is an abstract method. We have to implement this. I hit OK. Bam. And all of a sudden, I have created an anonymous class basically in line. So you can see that the entirety of this class right here is basically the same thing, right? The new animal right here is the same as calling the super, let's say, in the dog class right here like this. Right, and the move method is implemented. And if I wanted to say, well, wait a second, I also want to change the make sound method. Absolutely no worries. You can literally just override it inside of here. In between these curly brackets, we're basically creating a class inline. Pretty freaking cool. Now, please note, of course, that you cannot reuse this class, right? This is why it's an anonymous class. It doesn't have a name, right? That's what where the name anonymous comes from in this case. So it is only used once right here. But if I were to, let's say over here, system out print line, and I would say hamster is running in his wheel. And the sound, I would say very tiny hamster noises. Just for the sake of argument, I could then add the animal right here. So let's add Joel over here. And even though everything here is defined in line, right, as an anonymous class, if I run this, you can see hamsters running in his wheel, very tiny hamster noises. So this can be extremely useful. Now, an anonymous class does not always have to be from an abstract class. I could also make a different kind of bird. So you can see as soon as I put the curly brackets in here, it creates an anonymous class and I could then override the move method, for example, and I could change this up, let's say. Like that would also work. So it doesn't have to be an, an abstract class. It can be anything. It can even be an interface in theory so that it's automatically implemented. This can sometimes be very useful. We'll see this in Minecraft modding specifically for certain items and or blocks where you don't want to create a specific class for that multiple times because maybe it's going to be used once and then never again. That is where this can be very useful. And of course, also when reading code from other people, they might be using anonymous classes quite a lot. So that is why you at least have to see this crazy structure over here where you can basically make a class more or less inline. Right, but that's already it for this tutorial right here. And in this video, we'll talk about the next exercise. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.